Well, I had to edit out the whole last video because you were looking at my butt so much. Yeah. yeah. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can't do better. You can't do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. I dare you to be wild. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, Jono. Hi there. As you can see by the title, this is a day in Boston. We honestly have been craving travel like everybody. We have not traveled in a year. And I was like, Jonathan, can we just create our own adventure and pretend to be tourists in our home city and just like bop around Boston for the day? And I thought it would be fun to take you all along with us because one, we're just gonna have a fun time and we'll share it with you. And two, like if you're looking to travel to Boston and you want some fun ideas, this is your video. I asked on my Instagram for people to tell me their favorite activities in Boston, and so we're gonna take some of those and do them. We obviously have a lot of things that we love to do in Boston that we're gonna do today, so we're really excited. And the day is actually even more special. It's marathon on Monday. Oh, what would be marathon on Monday? <laughs> yeah, so if you haven't seen my other videos, Jonathan and I got engaged two years ago. This weekend, basically, I ran the marathon for Jonathan's brother, and we have a whole story on it, so I'll link that up here if you can. We just wanted to take advantage of the day. It's beautiful in Boston today. Right. So yeah, let's have a day. Are you coming for me? <laughs> okay, I'm smiling under the mask. We're walking through the Boston Common and fun fact, we did our engagement photos here, right? I know. Back That's there. Two years ago? Yeah, two years ago now. Jeez. Crazy. Okay, first stop, Thinking Cup Coffee. Delicious. Pretty good. Both got lattes. I got the cinnamon honey. Jonathan got the caramel. Mm -hmm. Very good. Can confirm it's very good. So definitely try it out. It's perfect because it's right at the top of Newberry Street. So we're just ready to shop. <laughs> Jonathan's not ready to shop. Um, wait, I'm warming up. Warming up, okay. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can't do better. You can't do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better, I dare you to be wilder I got it. It's like riding a bike. Honey, let's just be sleep. Baby, let your head down. Be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes up. You don't have to hide it. Baby, let your head down. Be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes up. Don't hide it. I don't fit to your box. Beauty queens with final gloves. Comfortable. That was fun. So much fun. Here we go. Cheers. What a day. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Freaking perfect though. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> I haven't like road ridden a bike, rode a bike. I haven't rode a bike. I haven't rode a bike, okay. In a long time, and that was so fun. Highly yeah. recommend again doing this video for us because this was like such a special day for us but also like for you watching if you're going to Boston or if you live in the area and you need something fun to do like rent the blue bikes and go down the esplanade that was so fun yeah you figure out how much to do like there is to do in your hometown yeah it's just, like it was and awesome. It was awesome. And we stopped at the docks. Like, if you're from here, you know, there's all the docks near where, like, that boathouse is. Yeah, and the we're, Charles like, River and the Esplanade. Yeah, Longfellow and... Bridge. Like, we just sat there. It was so fun. But anyways, before we're off to our next adventure, wanted to do a little haul for you because we walked all up and down Newberry Street. And honestly, we did not do that much damage. I was nervous we were just going to take ourselves. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been, a, been lot a lot worse. worse. We both were like, actually, to there be some honest. There self-restraint in some moments. I would, and then I would say we both were like, just buy it to each other. We weren't yeah. even really restraining each other. It was more like we each didn't want to buy something and the other one was like, you deserve it. Right. A little treat yourself day. Yeah. Honestly, we deserve it. Happy two year 
engagement anniversary to us. Yeah. So first, Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters is at the very other end of where we started, which was like a reward, you know? We made it. <laughs> so I've been looking for a bucket hat. If you can't tell, I love this like green color. I feel like it's very in right now, and I've been like on the mint, hunt. Mint yeah, green. mint green. So I got myself a mint green bucket hat. I'm trying to like focus in on the color. You can see I've been on the hunt for like this exact color because in the summer I feel like a little bikini, this will just look good with anything. And I didn't want any graphics on it. I just wanted like a simple one. And the quality at Urban, I have a ton of hats from Urban Outfitters. They're always so good, so. Yeah. Goes with your eyes. Goes with my eye. That was cute. Yeah. Okay, also I got graphic t-shirt from urban you can kind of see it's sick can no one ask me if i know five songs by grateful dead because no i don't but it's cute right how many sizes too big is that for you no this is actually a small medium but it's meant to be oversized which is another thing i love about urban that's a bit of a brain pretzel for me it's no a small medium it's <laughs> it looks bigger than me because it's meant to be oversized so like for my size this is the perfect size for like an oversized fit it's cute <laughs> Very grateful that you're not dead. <laughs> you? No. <laughs> that was all I got from Urban, which was really impressive because there were so many cute things. I almost bought this anklet. It had butterflies all over it. It made me think of my grandma. I think I'm going to order it online. I should have got it. Should have just done it. I, it, was like, it was like in the aisle, and I was like, ah! We only bought from three stores, I think. So, Lululemon, we both made a purchase. So, I'll show mm -hmm. you Jono's. I'm telling Jonathan that he deserves all the Lululemon because men, like, your whole wardrobe should just be Lululemon. It's so comfortable, so I've heard from you. <laughs> but like, my Lululemon stuff is so comfy. It always looks good. Like, Lululemon is just crisp on a man, you know? Oh, crispy. Is Jonathan got these shorts, which I love. Little Again, summer action, little yeah. vacation. Okay, they look really wrinkled and not great right now, but they're such good quality. So ladies, if you gotta get your man a little something, these are the bowline short in the eight inch, which actually is a little long. I like you in like the six to seven inch. But the thigh three <laughs> yeah. this summer? Yeah, and but this color I just really liked um, and Jonathan really liked, but I was pushing for I was going one. for like a black or a blue. He's like, I need a black. I was like, no, but babe, Apparently this color. we need color. color in our life. You need more color. Like, you're so drawn to the just like the same three colors. Plain Jane, baby. Yeah. Then, these shorts, which like you have these ones, right? Similar, yeah. These are the Pace Breaker short in the seven inch, and they're just nice gray material. Um, and again, Lulu is just so good. Like, I'm it, gonna wear those shorts five days. Yeah, you, like you always get your use. Yeah. Like, I know they're a little bit more expensive, but even for me with my Lulu stuff, like it's worth it the amount of times you wear it and like mm. the amount of years you have it, you know? And then I only got myself one thing in Lulu, good self-control, yep. honestly. And just this cute hat, dusty pink color. And I have seen this color hat in Lulu, but it didn't say Lululemon on it in like the white. It was just the hat, which is cute, but I feel like you can get that anywhere. Like I wanted a little bit of like, I don't know, a logo or something on the front, well, and so. Some. They don't pink. always do like, they usually do their logo on things. It's nice to see them like write something out. Yeah, that's such a good point. The logo, it's like the full name. Yeah, it's just simple, small writing, very my vibe. And so I just really liked it. Summertime, I always work out with a hat on, like running and everything, so. Big hat day. Big hat, oh yeah, I did get two hats yeah. today. Who would have thought? We're here for a hat moment. Yeah. Okay, so next up is anthropology, and honestly, just moment for their bags. They're so cute and earthy. And so Jonathan sat out front and I took myself into anthropology. You were just soaking up the sun. I think it was, yeah. Drinking your coffee. Yeah. No, it was great. Okay, wait. So I wanted to, I didn't even tell you that I got this. You were going to show me and then you're like, oh, wait. Okay, so I got this and it was so cute. I had to get it. Guys, isn't it so cute? It's little Jay for Jono. Little me. Little, little me. Little old me. He's so excited. He's just me. I love it. I love it. I'm like, I've never had anyone get my name on anything. Well, it's not your name. It's just your first initial. So oh, stop. we're getting started. But I thought it was so cute. And I was like, I want to wear a little J on my neck. Well, now you can't take it off. Now, okay. Yeah. Um, I've always had like, I've, I always get C initial things. Like I love monogram. Like I've always loved a bracelet with the C, my name, whatever. And I. Now C works like double fold for you now. I know. As you can tell, I love monogram CC on the back of my phone. And so anyways, I just wanted to get a little J. I thought it was cute. It was there. It's very cute. We're having a nice that. day. I was like, that's cute, right? Very cute. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, yeah. And then 
And then I just got I, some clips. So I always put my hair half up. Right now it's in two ponytails, but I put my hair half up and I have like a big claw clip for all of my hair that I use. You can kind of see that they are smaller with this cute print that I thought, again, was really earthy and nice. It's one of them to hold up my hair when I have like only half of it up and it's a little bit less hair. I don't need the big clips, you know? Last item in the or just these little hair scrunchies you can kind of see there's different pink tones an orange one a cream one I thought these were so cute for the summertime they definitely will look nice just around my wrist as a bracelet and then throw them in my hair throw it up when you need it yep I love a hair accessory and anthropology wow. is just so good what a good day what a good day it was a good day okay we can <laughs> we're just sitting on the commons right now it's so nice that people watch here yeah it's nice to have like time to kill I know just kind of hanging I know but all right we're off to our next adventure we'll see you on the next one see ya. you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better, I dare you to be wild seconds almost if you can't hear it it literally just started raining and we probably already put a clip in of this or maybe we didn't i don't know how i'm gonna form this video <laughs> we just went to the north end after dinner to get modern pastry if you know you know but also you may be a mike's pastry gal or guy we're honestly both we pretty much always have gone to Mike's, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, my parents always do Mike's. Yeah, Mike's Pastry, which is so good, but I've gone to Modern and it's good too. And if you don't know, yeah. in the North End, there's like two notorious dessert, like pastry shops, and it's either Mike's or Modern. They're like a block away from each other mm -hmm. in the North End. And we literally just drove by and we're like, okay, whatever's the shortest line, we're just gonna go in. Cause yeah. We've been here since 10 a.m. It is 7.30, like we're ready to go <laughs> it's home. A whole day. But the food is so good, I will show you. Do a little, I'll do. A little unboxing? I was telling Jonathan, the little Italian guy in there, told me I had the most beautiful eyes he ever saw. He's not wrong. Oh yeah. I didn't even know it was in that box. I'm looking at the camera too. Chocolate covered strawberries. Jono loves chocolate covered strawberries. Yep. Then. Those won't make it home. The real Italians get what's in this box. I'm not even Italian. Yeah, you get some Italian in you. I actually discovered lobster tails from your parents when I was like 16 years old. We came in here one night and they were like, you need to get lobster tails. Mm. We brought it home for your dad in high school. Oh yeah. Yes, this is a lobster tail and I'm literally just gonna dive in. There's Jonathan's chocolate cake. Hell yeah. <laughs> that honestly looks fire, so. So good. Oh my God. Moment of silence, honestly. Last but not least. Last but not least, I'm just gonna pull them out. It's just a bag of them. Italian butter cookie. I got one of each color. <laughs> And these just make me laugh. They're nostalgic to me because in high school... Those are my get out of jail free cards. If right there. <laughs> there was this bakery in our town and any time that... Sorry, I can pull this on you. Nah, um, right. There was this bakery in our town and any time like, me and Jonathan would get in a fight in high school or like he was being a brat or whatever... <laughs> Yep. He would go to this bakery and get me like a dozen of these Italian butter cookies and I would immediately be like not mad anymore. Yeah, you can't be wrong with one of those. So they're so good and I really love them and I saw them in there and I was like I have to get them to just top off this special day. So yeah, that was our day in Boston. It was honestly really magical. It was just so nice to, again, I know I said it at the beginning, but treat the day like it was a new adventure. I don't know, it had this feeling of travel to it to me and like... I mean, we haven't done a city day probably since like COVID hit. No, yeah. It's so it's like, it, it is like nice to go back to things we're used to doing. We did things today that were new to us. And again, you're going to see it all in the video. You've already seen it because this is the end of the video, <laughs> but we did things that we've never done before. We did some things that we have done and I don't know, it was just really special. And I hope that you all enjoyed it. We tried to vlog as much as we could. Again, we got here at 10. It's, we've been here for like eight or nine hours and we tried to capture as much as we could, but we really just enjoyed a lot of it. So <laughs> hope that you enjoyed it. Hope it was fun for you again. 
welcome to my channel if this was your first video and I hope that you stick around. I hope that you like, subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Hopefully we do another like season. Like oh yeah. A little bit of summer. That's it's a good reminder. Idea. As spring. we were like it's sitting like there on the dock today, we were like, wait, we should do a day in Boston like for each season on the YouTube channel just because there's so many different things to do in Boston based on the season, like any place mm -hmm. really. So stick around and you'll be able to see a fun summer day in Boston. That if you like Fenway, right? Fenway. We need to go to Fenway. a Fenway game. Yes. I need to eat a the Fenway sausage. Fenway game, a Red Sox game. <laughs> a Fenway game. I love sports. <laughs> um, all right. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See you next time.